The Caesar HTV is cut. The next step is called the weeding process. The weeding process is where you remove the negative material or the cavities that you don't want on your transfer. Before we do that, I'm gonna cut my scrap pieces of HTV that can be saved. Make sure you save your scraps, folks. The tools I recommend for this process are the Caesar Weeder. The Caesar Weeder has a sharp curved tip that will allow you to target and remove cavities quickly. It also has a comfortable rubber grip. Or you can use the Caesar Tweezers, which are great for very detailed designs. Caesar HTV is already incredibly easy to weed, hence the name like Easy Weed, but I wanna talk about a couple tips and tricks to make your weeding process even easier. I'm a fan of removing cavities inside the design first and then removing the outside access, but you can do it however you like. When working with any of the Caesar Easyweed family, so Easyweed, Easyweed Stretch, Easyweed Glow in the Dark, or Easyweed Electric, they all have a sticky carrier, which comes in handy in case you remove anything important by accident, you can lay it back down. For those that have a heat press at home, here's a great trick you can do when weeding any of the Caesar Easyweed family. Have your heat press set to 305 degrees Fahrenheit. When it heats up, you will close the heat press on the lower platen for about eight to 10 seconds. Now you'll take your cut piece of Easy Weed and lay it on the warmed up lower platen. Now when you weed your excess, it's basically falling right off. Super simple. When weeding Caesar Glitter, Caesar Strip Lock Pro, or Caesar Holographic, sometimes seeing the cut lines can be challenging. A good trick is what I call the reverse roll. Curl your cut sheet to where you can see the cut line appear on your carrier sheet. This can help find some of your cavities quicker. That's all it takes to weed your transfers. Be sure to check out the next video where I talk about the application process for Caesar HTV. 